All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. A quick update on BTC. So the inflation data did come in at 5%. Um, so they say inflation is coming down. So take that information as you will. Uh, but the fact is, BTC, just like Ethereum, we're still in these megaphone patterns here, which, you know, these old school patterns do not have to play out. It does not have to play out to where we come back down all the way to the bottom, down to the 17K range again. Um, but it very well could. That's why I'm pointing this out for you guys. Uh, so we had the numbers come in as expected, pretty much. Inflation, by what they're telling us, is coming down. Um, but you got to look at the big picture. You got to look at everything that's going on in the world. You got to realize that there's wars, there's recessions, there's just all kinds of bearish things going on in the world right now. You know, they're 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 saying the petrodollar is pretty much dead. What with the BRICS and China aligning with all these different countries out there, and then I just heard this morning that Taiwan's prime minister is actually calling for war with China, saying that they are expected uh, to get invaded by China very soon so they're preparing for war in taiwan we already have the war in ukraine everything that's going on in the world with the banks and just everything tells us that we should not have a bull run right now so a lot of people are calling for a bull run uh which may be the case because if you're like me i want my money I, i'm ready for a bull run i'm ready to make my money um but until you know we are actually in a bull run uh, there's a very good chance that this pattern actually does play out and we come falling back down. So we're getting stuck yet again at the top of this megaphone pattern where we've been getting stuck. So in, in my opinion, until we break over this, we're not going anywhere. So there's no need really to look at any price levels. I know a lot of people were calling for 30K. We're there. 31K, we're, we're almost there. And, you know, 32K and then we're going to the moon. Uh, but in my opinion, we need to break out of this pattern here, hold this as support, and then blast out of here. Uh, my next macro resistance is all the way up here at 40k. So until we break this, which we may climb along this thing the whole way up, there's no telling. Uh, besides this pattern here, you know everything on the chart looks bullish. Uh, you have a nice separation between all the moving averages here. You have a nice curl up on the MACD. RSI is above the 50, MACD is above the zero. Everything just yeah, absolutely, all the information we're getting just absolutely looks good. The Heikinashi candles are green, no shadows. So it has a trend up. It has the momentum. It's above the 200, the 50, the 21. It's above this macro um, resistance support here. And at this purple line, you can see we held support at this 27.4 level forever here. So in my opinion, until we break this this pattern here, uh, we may we may in fact come all the way back down here to the 17, 18k range, especially if we come back down here and we lose our 21 day EMA at 28, and then this orange line here, which held all this support uh, at 27.4. We come down here and lose 27.4, uh, then we're probably going to start bouncing all the way back down here, all the way back down to 17k to come back and actually um, hit our target from this megaphone to come back down here to the bottom. Uh, and you can also notice on the chart another bearish indication that we may come down is there's some liquidity gaps here, as you can see on those two green candles there. So, you know, there's a lot of bullish stuff on the chart. The world says no, no bull run. The chart says we want a bull run, but then there's some gaps to be filled. And we're in this very bearish pattern here where we're expected to come all the way back down here to the bottom. Um, so that may actually be the case. So I just wanted to point that out. Inflation data came in as expected. They say it's going down, but the whole world's going to hell in a handbasket pretty much at the moment. So how could we ever have a bull run? So, you know, take that as you will. I just wanted to point that out. I'm not a perma bear or anything. Like I said, I want my money. I want a bull run um, more than anything, but I just got to be realistic about it and just uh, look at the big picture and see what's going on in the world to see if we actually are going to have a bull run right now. So, yeah, take that as you will. Hopefully you got something out of the content, and we'll see you in the next one. Now, financial advice, and peace out, everyone.